One of the key aspects of the university that you need to know is the address system that is used to identify the various offices, laboratories and lecture theatres. Each named building on campus has an individual code made up of one or two letters. This code always appears at the start of the address for a specific location and is used throughout the university as an identifier for each individual location. So now let us take a look at how the address system works. Here we have a typical address CS1045. CS refers to the Computer Science Building. 1 tells you that it is on the first floor and 045 is the number for the computer laboratory. The address system works in a slightly different way for the main building. When the university was first opened, they started by building Block A to the right-hand side of the original Plassey House. Then they added Block B, C, D and E to form the building you can see here today. So when you are given an address starting with A, B, C, D or E, it is referring to a block within the main building. The main building was constructed on a sloping site, so some blocks have more floors than others. So when you enter the building, check to see what floor you are on. The floors are named Ground, O, Mezzanine, 1, 2 and 3. You can enter the different blocks through a series of stairwells that are located between the blocks. There are a number of these stairwells located throughout the main building. So if you wanted to go to an address on one of the floors in block C or D, you can use the stairwell located to the right of the main entrance. When you enter the stairwell, you will see a sign that tells you what stairwell you are in. A block diagram showing you where you are located, highlighted in green, within the main building complex. Below you will then see what floor you are on, as well as a direction to the various other blocks and offices that you can access from your location. It will take you some time to find your way around the main building, so allow yourself some extra time and check the maps regularly. 